The controls for the track map are very similar to the controls for the graph, so you should find this pretty familiar. To zoom in to see the driving lines in a bit more detail, we simply left click and drag to the right to create this turquoise box, and this indicates the area in which we're going to zoom into. And if I let go, that will zoom into that particular section. To pan through the track map and through the driving lines, we simply right click and drag. To zoom out again, left click and drag to the left. The current vehicle position is indicated via the crosshairs on the track map. To move through the data, all you have to do is press either one of the arrow keys. To move in a bit more detail, if you hold the Alt key and then press an arrow key, this will move the crosshairs sample by sample. To fix current vehicle position to the centre of the track map, all we have to do is click this option here, which is Centre on Vehicle, which you can find under the Track tab, or you can click the icon on the toolbar. Now when we move through the data, vehicle position always remains centred in the track map. This is particularly useful when you're analysing your driving lines in relation to video data and graph data, as the current vehicle position is always shown in the track map even when zoomed in. And I'll show you that now if I go to the View All page. So we are centred on the track map, zoom in, and if I just drag the cursor through, vehicle position is always centred on the track map. And lastly, if Circuit Tools has detected the correct circuit, however the layout you are driving on is slightly different, you can select a new layout from that circuit from this drop-down menu here.